Hello? Okay, let's try this again. I feel like I haven't had a successful stream yet. But I will just chill here until uh, people decide to watch. And then I will start talking. So, if you're here early, fast forward. This is also a really awkward time. But I thought I just needed a little bit of a break from editing. Let's see. Now, can I watch this without making it feedback? Oh, I don't want to watch myself. Okay. Hello, hello. How's it going? Okay, I'm just gonna be kind of chatting, answering questions and uh, watching uh, the video. So if you haven't seen it already, it is live on my YouTube page. Hey, how's it going? So how do I, I wanna look at these chats better instead of having to turn way over here. I'm going to just make this window smaller. Oh, that's much better. Okay, bear with me. I'm still trying to figure out this whole live streaming thing. Okay, cool. How's it going? How does the audio sound? Is it good? Is it too loud? Is the music too loud? I tested it, but... You never know. <laughs> How's it going? Have you guys watched the uh, video yet? I live in Canada. I'm assuming the audio sounds like... It sounds like it's coming out of here, right? It sounds really clear. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so I can see all the chats now. Yeah, it was awesome. If you haven't watched it, I, I don't want to spoil too much for those who haven't seen the video, so... But, no, it, it was sweet. It was sweet. But, uh... Yeah, do you guys have any questions at all? I'll probably start playing this video here soon. I just thought it would be cool to watch it and uh you know kind of explain some of the stuff that was happening sounds very clear awesome but yeah i thought i'd uh, explain some of the stuff that was happening if i didn't have a chance to explain in the video because you know it was, it was like a two three hour event and it, sometimes it looks like people only had one jump so uh everybody had four jumps one that did not count at the beginning and then three that counted with a run-up. Oh, I mean, you could have stood still if you really wanted to. But yeah, everyone had four jumps. And then the top three in each category also got to re-jump in their own tier for, for the prize. So it was, it was really sweet. Um, what was this? Sounds very cool. Awesome. Okay, what's your favorite team you play for? Honestly, I play with all my friends, so they're, they're, they're all fun teams. Yes, the video is out. I posted it at five so I what is that five hours ago but I'm still figuring out what is a good time to post and you know if you guys are watching and you haven't seen it make sure you hit that bell notification too because if you do then you get a notification when I post or else you'll just have to go back to my my uh, YouTube page and find it there but I post a lot I feel like I almost post too much but I might as well I have the content so um, right now I'm posting at least twice a week. Uh, I'm a little bit behind now because of this video took so long to edit, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So yeah, we'll start watching it really soon. Oh, thanks for watching with Mr. Pig. I wish this was bigger. How do I make this font bigger? I can't read anything. You didn't get notifications. Uh, where's that notification bell? <laughs> I'm so bad. I've been doing this YouTube thing for so long and I still don't know where the notification bell is. 
It is somewhere. I can't subscribe to myself though. So let me open up somebody else's YouTube page. But let's see if I open up I don't want time to randomly start playing though. I will mute it really quick. Okay. Yeah, so right beside subscribed, you can also click the drop down arrow and underneath it will say all, personalize, none, or unsubscribe. So you wanna click that all one to get notifications. Okay, I'm gonna close out of this now. Go back to the chat. All right, that's cool. I, I did, but I mean, I was uh, very preoccupied with making sure uh, making sure everything was running smoothly. So it was hard to get out of that mindset of, you know, I have to get this finished before our time runs out. So next time I will definitely rent the facility for longer. But yeah, level one did donate the time slot to us. So I was very gracious. Um, What's, what, what, I was very grateful that they uh, even gave us uh, any time. So, but yeah, next time I definitely will book more time so that we don't feel rushed and maybe we even play volleyball after. Cause that'd be sweet. Sweet, yes. Yeah, definitely hit that notification bell because I noticed that with a, even a lot of the people that I subscribe to, if I don't hit the notification bell, I do not get any notifications at all. So let's see here. Okay, I think I am going to start the video now, but I will still answer your questions as I am watching it. And maybe I'll stop it if you guys have questions or anything too. So I have made all these scenes. Hopefully everything sounds good. Everything visually looks good. But right now I'm going to pop up on the top right of the screen and the video should pop up. And that's me double. So now there should be no music, but uh, yeah, this is, this is the video that I spent over 30 hours edi editing. And uh, yeah, if you like it, you know, n not only like this video, I guess, but uh, yeah, go to that video, check it out, like, comment, you know, share it with your friends. Cause if you guys do that, then it really helps uh, the algorithm to push more of my footage. And if the algorithm pushes my footage then I can make even crazier content. So like this video, I did not, I did, I did not take any money from any of these people to make the video. It was uh, actually, even though everything was donated, like prizes, uh, the court rental and everything, I still took a loss. So uh, if you guys you know like this video, if you want to support me, all you have to do is share the video. The more views this video gets, uh, that, that's how I would make uh, you know any type of, uh, uh, I guess, money back from it. So uh, it would mean a lot if you shared. But yeah, let's play this video. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna read a couple things. So my men's team is called, um, what are we called? Uh, I am drawing the biggest blank ever. We are called, well, okay, my co-ed team is Squirtle Squad and I am drawing a huge blank from my men's team. So I am going to open up my own YouTube video to look, but my men's team is called Six Paths. I did not choose that name, but yes, we are Six Paths. I think it has something newest in Naruto. Again, I don't watch any shows, so yeah. Those are the two teams I'm on, but next season, so next week actually, uh, Monday, Wednesday, is the last uh, week of the winter season and then the next season starts. So my men men's team is gonna be running it back, but my COA team is gonna be changing. Yeah, six paths. Yes, that is correct. Cool, all right. Okay, buckle in. I'm gonna start this video. And if you guys have questions, yeah, I'm gonna be looking at the chat the whole time. So I will, I apologize, but I'm gonna be pausing the video and stuff and talking. So if you wanna rewatch it, yeah, just go back to my YouTube page and uh, you can check it out there, but here we go. Jacob Wade, Jump Lead, and Level 1 Sports for letting us host this vertical jump contest here. Because without their support, uh, this wouldn't be possible. So, you know, stay tuned. There's going to be some crazy vertical. Right, hopefully there's no echoing. Yeah, that other team. 
Uh, have we, you guys tested your vertical before? Uh, a few times. A few times? Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna so you know. this for a sec. Uh, but yeah, that other, like that God and Block them All team, the one with the Pokemon on the front, uh, schedules just didn't work out. Uh, I still talk to some of those guys, um, well, guys and girls. Sorry, I always say I always say guys, but yeah, guys and girls. But uh, yeah, you know, Taylor was at this uh, contest. Uh, Steph was helping me, and uh, uh, and everybody knows Jonah. And sometimes he subs for my men's teams too. So, okay. Um, the molten giveaway. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you uh, actually go to all my socials uh i post to one there but uh yeah it was it was somebody oh my goodness it's so bad i forget his name but it was someone on instagram actually if i scroll down far enough i will find it i apologize if you're watching i forgot your name i talked to so many people no flex <laughs> okay let's see here uh t -t 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 -t. who won that I actually delivered it to him. I should have made a video, but I didn't for some reason. So the person who won the ball was Carter. Yeah, hell yeah. I think I can even click this. Yeah, so I can even show you. Oh, can you? Carter. Carter won that molten volleyball. So uh, I have no more molten volleyballs. I bought those with my own money, actually, no sponsors. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have more giveaways. Okay, I'm gonna start this at the beginning again. I talk too much. All right, let's go. Before we start here, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Way of Wade, Jump Leap, and Level One Sports for letting us host this vertical jump contest here. Because without their support, uh, this wouldn't be possible. It's so, true. You know, stay tuned. There's gonna be some crazy vertical. I thought the prizes were actually insane. I've never seen prizes this big before for even a volleyball tournament, let alone just like a jump contest. So, he just huge cleared props. a lot of your feet. So, have you guys tested your vertical before? Uh, a few times. A few times? Woo! Yeah. So, you know. I uh, I have a general idea, but you know, I haven't been working out as much, so <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go. Yo, Tyrone okay, okay. killed it for it's his first person, jump. Right? First yeah, person, too. So. Okay, all right, let's get ready. Are you uh, ready? Yeah. I want this to be pumping, right? When they jump, I want you guys to cheer, I want you guys to do whatever. Okay? Not so many people were there. Whoa! So many people jumped over 10 feet, it was crazy. So from what I understand, there's a rivalry between these two. I have a longer reach over Marco. Yeah, but you're seven foot nine. Marco's at seven foot four. <laughs> he, I think he'll get up higher Yo, off the ground. Yo, both these guys are see, crazy. If you guys see Matt, he flies. Who, who do you think is gonna win? Oh! I've never played against them, but yeah, Mark and Matt are insane. Okay, Matt's going again later. No, Jonah didn't end up going. He uh, had a climbing tournament. That's crazy. The I'm top sure of that's 11 later. feet. Sure oh. I made sure it was super high too. Like I, I could raise this thing to 13 feet. So. Yes, Dewey does react. Yo, Steven had a crazy jump too.
Yeah, his jump is wild for being 5'10. Chris had a crazy high jump too. I wasn't recording that one in slow motion, but that one was crazy high. I did, but only for fun. I, I wasn't right, stressed or anything. Jump, and you jump very high, so I, I, I want to see some stuff. Ross well, is a very good volleyball player. Next time I think we need more volunteers. Make it less stressful. There's so many people there. Honestly, it was it was a crazy fun time. Yo, those new shoes? What are those? Leaning. Oh, leaning. All right, Eric, let's see. <laughs> What's that, sir? How do I right, move this heart? I can't see anything. I see you hitting it in men. Do you kill it? Let's see what your bird is today. Yeah, you'll see a lot of familiar Ooh. faces, too. Uh, I mean, a, a big Ooh. chunk of these uh, volleyball players also run, huh? I played against at one point or another. But there's there's a lot of new people too. What do you think you're gonna get to? Ten feet six to eight. Ten feet six to eight. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I, I want to see them. I'm, I'm ready. Like knowing that you can jump at least ten foot six is crazy. Whoa! Ten feet seven and a half Dude, inches. That, that, that was insane, though. That was insane. Do I, do I need to lower it? Or are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could jump over the whole thing. Yeah, you, you walked up there. I, I thought you were going to say it was too high. Yeah, Jaden surprised me. I've never actually seen him jump before. Oh! And he flew. Oh! Mr. Joseph, let's see what you got. So many of the smaller guys just like jump very, very high. I'm playing with him next season. Weird seeing myself so much. That was crazy. Man, everyone can fly. So, this was not an invite. This, no, this event, time. anybody could have came as long as you reached out to oh. me. So. Uh, but I, I live in Canada, so I mean, if, if you're willing to fly down here, then like, you could technically compete. But I did have a cap at 50, because even 50 people was a lot of people. Hopefully next one's a con uh, some sort of a volleyball tournament. I think that would be fun. Raphael was... Just watch. He barely hopped. <laughs> I wasn't expecting so many people to jump over 11 Yo, that feet. Because that's a foot over a basketball oh rim. Alright, let's see this. Alright, let's make some noise. Oh. Sorry, I just got a message. On that. Let's go! Wow! Yo, this is crazy. Alright, Alfred, let's see this. And I met a lot of new people too, which is really cool. No, I edit my own videos. I just. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll hire somebody. But yeah, for now I edit everything, so any mistakes I made. Ethan was flying too. Ten feet eight inches. Oh, youngest one here. Yeah, it's cool seeing somebody uh, so young like Paul showing up. So that was awesome. This also surprised me. Ten feet ten and a half inches. That's like. 
this much over a basketball rim. The only person from Calgary. <laughs> Let's go. Calgary! Yeah, Nathan came from Calgary. Yeah, he got crazy good at volleyball over the last like two, three years. He also grew a foot. I think you can clear this, Caleb. Watch this, watch this. Ten feet, ten and a half inches again. So many people were so close to eleven feet. Oh my goodness, I'm screwed. Yeah, Adrian filmed. He's not actually a videographer, but yo, know, huge props to him for helping me. I thought he did a really good job too. We're gonna go with female. Yeah, that looked like he only jumped once, but he, he jumped four times. The first female to go. Let's go, put her up. Hey! It's a. I don't know, 107.5 inches. I can't math that fast. Yeah, to compete in this tournament, I wanted to keep it just all volleyball people. Because I didn't, like, you know, no hate against other sports, but just because it is a volleyball channel, so I wanted it most of the people to at least play volleyball. Yeah, the girls were hitting it so hard. They were all spiking the the little fingers, and the Just fingers were made of solid aluminum. Okay, watch this. This this, this blew my mind here. She cleared it. it. It was actually, yeah, the, the entire place just erupted. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah, that no, that that, that, that was actually so crazy. That was like man. genuine cheering. That, that was very impressive. That was very very. Impressive. Was it Dewey vertical reveal? Maybe maybe I'll work on that. I need to lose ten pounds first. Yeah, Megan was hitting it so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Megan, don't hit it so hard. Right, you're gonna hurt yourself. Go. Hopefully, your hand's okay. Oh, you touch it. You touch it. Hey! Let's go. Hey, Matt, you just missed Nathan jump. I played with Taylor last season. Yeah, Taylor was from that uh, Pokemon team that got to block them all. Let's go. Yeah, they're, they're smacking those things. But still very impressive. That was crazy. Yo, props for all the ladies. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. That is absolutely insane. Matt and Raphael had to re-jump because they cleared 11. Man, it's so crazy. Still so crazy rewatching this. I can barely touch with a stick. Let's go, Matt. I'm a game changer. Whoa! You touch it. You touch it. That is that's crazy. I, I've never seen somebody reach 11 feet three and a half inches. Raphael looks like he just floats. I feel like he still had more than tank too. But it comes down to, you know, what can you do that day at that time? So 11 feet 2 inches. That's so high. Yeah, yeah these are the finals right now. So top 3 in each group. And nobody knows what group they're in. Yeah, it, it, it was crazy to see the verticals. 
<laughs> I should get more cameras and lenses. I'm gonna go poor. Okay, Dave. Yeah, Dave can fly too. I think everybody's vertical in the finals dropped a tiny bit. The nerves. Oh, they definitely do make it look effortless. Like that, that's just crazy. I wish I could fly that high. 10 feet, 11 and a half inches. That's half an inch off of 11 feet. He was on the last one. Yo, last jump, Marco. Oh, let's go. Let's make some noise. Let's go, Marco. Oh, it, it was so close. Yo, that's still so crazy though, man. Crazy. So close. Yeah, and Tate was flying too. Like he, he definitely got higher on this jump. 10 feet, 11 inches. I think that was half an inch higher. Oh, no. oh that's crazy. Man. Let's see this. Man, Ethan too. Insane. Insane. So crazy. Such good technique too. Do you ever feel like when you're jumping, you look funny? I feel like I look funny. <laughs> All right, Steven. That's why I do POV. I'm a game changer. Oh! Steven also had top four vertical. That's crazy, man. You guys all fly. 10 feet, five and a half inches. All right, Steven. I've heard stories. See, I want the adrenaline. Well, he Let's got go. the adrenaline. Just watch, just watch, watch how much this thing rocks. I thought it was gonna fall over. Look at this. Oh! Oh man, those are 45 pound weights. Yeah, first jump was already higher than our last one, so. There were people that did jump more. higher. I think you move at least one more. And uh, yeah, Amanda's going to be one of the people that I play with Yo, in the so next cool, season so on my cool. co team. Nice. I got Frisha's name wrong so many times, but sorry. Sorry if you're watching. But I just love everybody's like hitting technique. Or, or jumping technique. It looks so flawless. I feel like I just have to spend a week perfecting my technique. Yeah, so I, I had to raise it up for ease. And I've never seen her jump before, so that was really cool. I wish I gave her a couple more jumps because Yo, that was the last she, she for sure had more because last time she cleared nine scores, feet six inches this time she only got so nine a feet and five inches but five still inches. crazy I'm not gonna mess up Frisha yeah. huge congrats to Frisha and jump and with lead. a vertical of 28 inches Amanda <laughs> let's go and with a Crazy vert of 31 inches. We got ease. Crazy. Yeah, she won a $200 jump oh, lead gift crazy. card. And, and hopefully guys, people didn't stop here because the video keeps going. Uh, couldn't have done this without them. Yeah, congrats guys. <laughs> I kind of made the video clickbaity. In group one, so you guys didn't even know what groups you were in. So they were random. But group one, we have Matt Morgan. Group two is Marco. Group three is Ethan. So it's crazy that these three were in the top three because the groups are random. They could have but easily been in the same group. Had the highest vertical. I think it's Matt. You think it's Matt? I think okay. it's Matt. So in third place, with a vertical of... Oh, is it? Okay, there's a tie. 
For second and third. Yeah, we didn't we didn't realize there was a tie. Hello. Should we do a jump off one jump? And do I look for teams? It's usually just people that I've played with before. Do you think you can clear the standing? Or, or like friends. Do you think you can clear the standing? No, right? This is uh, 11 feet. If I say who's second and third, you know, you're going to know who first is. So second and third were tied, and I didn't want to first place. reveal who first was. Because there's that rivalry too, right? Okay, how about all three of you just jump? Made them all static jump. Okay, Marco's first. I'm starting it at 10 feet, yeah. If you touch it, that's 10 feet and a half inches. Oh. 18.5. That's crazy. 10 feet, six and a half inches, oh. static vertical. All right, Ethan. Yeah, if you pause the video too, I do put standing reach numbers. 15. Because there's like height differences too, right? And arm length differences. All right, Matt. Everybody watch just in case it moves like crazy. Oh. I still think that's crazy. 11 foot static jump. But does that matter? That's crazy. Can you bring up the Fission 9? So we got the Way of Wade Fission 9. Yeah, and these prizes were donated, donated by, Way of, Wade. by Way of Wade. And in third place, we have Ethan. Yes, Ethan! Let's go! Let's go. And with a running vertical of 42 and a half inches. That is crazy. So in second place, with the All City 12. 42 and a half inches. Second place. Who do you think it is? Lock it in. Matt. Did anyone see that coming? Yo, congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate congratulations. It. Yo, that's Appreciate crazy. It. But yeah, Matt has a, a much longer so you both, reach. We both had a vertical of 42 and a half inches. But uh, yeah, Matt just beat out Ethan in the standing vertical. And in first place. But that's crazy. With a vertical of 43 and a half inches is Marco. 43 and a half Let's inches. Go. That's, Yo, congratulations, that's so man. high. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, thank you for hosting it. This is actually like super, super fun. I've never actually tested my vertical before. So being here was actually insane to finally see how high I jump. And yeah, shout out to you, man, for hosting this. This is awesome. And one last time, huge thanks to Way of Wade, Jump Lead, and Level 1 Sports for uh, making this happen. So yes. see you guys next huge time. Thanks. Yo, thanks. Woo! And then I realized I forgot to hand out door prizes. So we just did it all at the end. So yeah. yeah, like I said, I didn't make a penny from this. All, all, all the uh, entry fees went back into prizes. I just want to make it really fun, you know? And I do jump. Yeah, it's not very good. All right, that's it. We're done. Again for the third time. And that is it. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, if you want to watch it again, just go to my YouTube page and you know, you watch it as many times as you want. But share, it'll be good. Here, I'm going to change back to this one. Alright, cool. Yo, thanks for chilling and watching. Uh, I'll stick around for a little bit more, but probably going to go get a late night snack or something in a bit. You guys have any other questions? Anything you want, anything that's burning inside you? Is music playing? There should be chill background music playing. I'll be sad if there isn't. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I gotta check this out. Okay, okay, okay. New team jerseys, I just got a message. Oops. Okay, if you wanna see new jerseys for the next season. People always ask me actually, who, who does your jerseys? Cool. Nice, I like it. But yeah, uh, I've partnered with a Merge Sports to do jerseys, and uh, I like I asked for no commission, 
just to be able to give the discount to you guys. But uh, I think the prices of these jerseys are crazy cheap because uh, if you go to my uh, bio uh, or you know on YouTube, there's like the description too, right? So if you go to my YouTube description, it will show his Instagram page and you just message him. But like it, it, it's crazy, crazy cheap for a fully custom jersey. Anything you want, uh, it's, it's only 25 bucks Canadian. That's like, I think that's like 18 bucks US or something. So, uh, I mean, obviously there would be shipping on top of that. Uh, but $25 for fully custom jersey is crazy. So there's going to be a little bit of a change for our men's team. So this is the men's jersey, if anybody's still watching. Oh no, can I focus on it without my face? Yeah, so we got some real fire realistic fire on there now and oh man this is a <laughs> this is a little bit different too but this one is for our co-ed team so it's a little bit of a a uh, little bit of a promotional shirt i guess if you want to call it that but <laughs> no it looks cool though yeah, this is the our co-ed team come on focus so what do you think? I think I might ask to make the spirals a little bit lighter, but no, that's cool. Oh no, I really like that. I really like that. Oh, and here's a back. I might as well show. But yeah, front and wait, focus. That's a front and back for the co-ed team. And then this is for the men's team. That should be cool. I jumped at the very end, but oh, I scrolled the wrong way. Ten years ago, I would be able to clear that. That is actually no, no, I still couldn't clear it. <laughs> but I would be able to jump higher ten years ago. Yeah, to be honest, uh, like I haven't heard of Way of Wade either before, but uh, one of my friends actually Andrew I, I play with I played with him this season uh he bought a pair of Wave Wade Shadow 4s I think I want to say but uh you know he really liked them and then I started seeing a few more people buy Wave of Wades and I'm like you know what maybe I'll uh maybe I'll just buy a pair and see what's up because I was playing with the I was playing with Nikes previously I had the Nike Zoom Freak 2s and I had a lot of issues with it but I think it was a manufacturing defect so Nike uh, gave me a full refund and then I bought the Nike PG6s and those are also uh, they're, they're also good but they were starting to wear I used to wear ankle braces and they just got they, they got destroyed so I was looking for a new pair of shoes and then I bought the Wave Weight 808 3 yeah just a normal Wave Weight 808 3s and yeah they, they, they actually were incredibly good compared to anything else I've tried and since I'm a videographer I'm like yo I'm gonna make a video and see if I catch the attention of way of Wade and you know here we are <laughs> how do you find these compared to say Mizuno shoes so I've only ever had very very cheap Mizuno shoes if you actually look on my website uh, I made some changes today but I'm going to be adding all of the shoes that I uh, have worn and make a review on it and I'm kind of trying to have a somewhat consistent scale between all of the shoes but uh, yeah I've only ever played with the really cheap $50 Canadian so like you know 30 something dollar uh, uh, American Mizuno shoes uh, the grip is fine I just found that they didn't really have any support or anything like that so I, I just really like the traction on Way of Wade shoes, like, yeah, for the most part. Uh, and right now, yeah, I'm playing with the 8083 Ultra V2s. And, you know, they're grippy. And, and I really like the, they're high tops, but they're not. Because they're very, very soft. Here, I'm going to grab them. Yeah, these ones, right? Like, these are the, well, I'm wearing the, the lavender color, but can it focus on the shoes instead of my face? Yeah, like this is very, very soft. So it doesn't feel like they're 
high tops, but they still feel like they give you some uh, ankle protection. And as a middle, I get really paranoid about rolling my ankles. But yeah, these are one of my favorite shoes right now. But there are a lot of very good shoes. Honestly, any, any high-end shoe from any of these manufacturers are going to be really good. Uh, it's just nice that some other, like there are companies out there now that make shoes that are compatible for basketball and volleyball because, you know, you jump and you run in both sports. So uh, it's nice that they're a little bit flashier because, uh, you know, as much as I like a standard black or white shoe, I kind of like the flashy shoes a little bit too. But have you seen uh, Darwin? So Darwin is one of my teammates on my men's team. He just got the, oh man, the shoes that, oh, I'm, I'm drawing another brain fart here. So he bought a pair of Mizunos, or are they Asics? No, they're totally Asics. Uh, the, the shoes that Nishida wears, the Asics. Okay, I gotta click on my own video to figure this out. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to watch my own video real quick because I forget what they're called. But the Asics are—they—they they look nice. They're blue and they—they they come in multiple colors too. They're called the Asics Meta Rise, and yeah, it's—it's it's nice to have a shoe that. Well, I mean, performs well, but it's it's cool to have a shoe that also looks good too. Is there anyone that we've seen before that will be on your core team for next season? Yes. So Amanda will be playing again. Uh, I'll be playing with my wife. I'll be playing with uh, who else? Uh, Joseph. And I'll be playing with so Ivan is going to be playing in the second half of the season. And I don't think you... Oh, no, you've seen Jason. So Jason, I played in a tournament a month or two ago. And then also there's somebody that you haven't seen, which is Clement. So uh, it should be fun. There, it's a team of seven, but there's only going to be six of us playing for the first half and six of us playing for the second half. And that should be fun. Uh, I am... Uh, I might set. Like, it's like... 70% chance that I will be setting for that team at least for the first half and then when uh, Ivan comes back he'll be setting so <laughs> that should be interesting we'll, we'll see how that goes if not then you know we'll figure something out but this is an interesting team because there are four middles on it <laughs> so either it's gonna be crazy blocks or none of us are gonna be able to pass <laughs> no Jason's a very good passer I haven't played with uh, Clement though so we'll see so in my comment section, there's like a little reaction thing. How do I remove that so that I can see the full comment? But yeah, do you guys uh, like the live stream? Do you like live streams? Do you like this? Do you like when I play volleyball and I uh, live stream? I really want to figure out the audio because right now I'm using... Uh So right now I'm using uh, the the Rode Reporter, not the Rode Reporter, the Rode Wireless Pro mic, and you know they're they're a, like a really good mic, but the oh, I can't even focus. Like it's a really good mic. The issue is that for some reason when I'm live streaming it cuts in and out. So I'll have to see if that changes when I use. Maybe I'll switch to an Android phone and see. But I usually connect this little lav on my shirt can it focus on it no yes baby focus yeah I use this little lav that I attach oh it's on this side that I attach to my shirt and I plug it in here and I have audio the entire time so I have crazy redundancy even though I don't need it yeah I know <laughs> uh yeah, I wasn't expecting to live stream either. I Sometimes I get on these weird tangents. I was working on the website today. Uh, yeah, if you haven't checked that out, it's uh, uh, dtvolleyball.com. So on there, there's going to be everything from reviews to 
you know, upcoming events, if there are any. Uh, settings I use for my GoPro. Everyone always asks that. So all the settings I've used for uh, action cameras in the past are on there. I will eventually get to putting, uh, you know, presets that I use for editing because, uh, because I'm a video editor as well. I do color correct and do certain things to make the video look better. And yeah, that, I feel like that's a huge thing. So that's on there for free as well. And just some other random stuff like, like photos. So uh, if you want to check that out, yeah, check out dtvolleyball.com. And uh, with the reviews, if you buy any of the products, uh, most of them do have affiliate links. So it, it helps me out too, because right now this is definitely not my full-time job, but it would be cool if it turned into it. Oh yeah. Yeah, no worries. Um, what else? Yeah, I'll probably stick around for a couple more minutes and then I should head out. But do you have any other do you all have any other questions? Anything about the gear I use, you know, about the the jump contest cuz for those of you who just started uh just started watching, I just finished watching the jump contest, but uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, it's on my website. Or not Well, it's on my website too, but it's on my YouTube page now. Just click the videos and also make sure you turn on the notifications. But what else is there? I feel like it would be nice if I also had a videographer, but I don't. Because <laughs> I am the videographer. And that's why, that's how these videos actually started. Because I wanted to film these games, but uh, you know, there's nobody to film, so I'm like, I'm just gonna strap a GoPro to my head, and did that, you know, three, four years ago or something, and it finally, it finally went viral, I guess. Uh, next live stream, would you consider doing video reactions on past games and say how uh, how plays could be better, or what you thought yeah i mean that that'd be cool too w would you want a live stream i feel like live streams are nice because when i end the stream it's just end it, it just ends and i don't have to edit anything so maybe i will do a uh, yeah no that's a good idea i think i'll do that i think i will do that uh what do you think about the size of here i'm gonna exit out of this for a second But what do you think about the size of... Sorry, I gotta watch this ad. My thumbnail... Well, not my thumbnail, my my face here. Like right now, obviously we're not watching anything. But if I was to switch to this view, is that too small, too big? Like, should I be on this side? Uh, well, obviously I wouldn't be in the middle because I block everything, but... I thought I'd do that. Like I can also get rid of myself and just talk, but then I feel like it's kind of weird, but I can also be really big or, but I feel like this one's reasonable, right? Just being in the top, right? It's somewhat out of the way, especially with POV content. Am I eyeing any other shoes? Well, I, I'm, I'm never really eyeing new shoes because I feel like I'm very fortunate that I get to use all these really nice shoes uh but there are uh there is a pair of shoes that is okay, i'm gonna go back to this one but there way way did send me the uh their flagship shoe so i i've never actually worn their flagship shoe which is the way of wade 10s uh, i've worn the all cd 11 v2s i've worn the all cd 12s uh a few of those pairs and I feel like there there are minor differences, but yeah, I've never actually worn their Way of Wade 10. So I'm very excited. A lot of people at our volleyball uh, gym wear those. So I'm excited. And I'm also, uh, uh, I also finished filming some stuff for another company too. And uh, it's, if you've ever heard of 361 Degrees, uh, I just tried out their Big 3 5.0 Quick. So those ones are cool too. And oh, these are the, these are the futures. One sec. So these ones are the, the, the big three futures. And like it's, it's like, if you can see, I can, 
My camera always focuses on my eyes. But it it's crazy tacky. So these are really tacky shoes. I wish it was a little bit less tacky because then it wouldn't pick up so much dust. But yeah, if you just sweep the floors, it's actually wild. But they're they're so I, I like these shoes. And the pink looks cool. Uh, what shoes do you currently use? I currently use the 8083 Ultra V2s, the Way of Wades. And that's just because I like the ankle support. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it depends on the video content. I, yeah, maybe I should make it a couple uh, videos where my face is at the bottom corners too. Um, but yeah, being on the top right, I think I'll default to that one unless it's really in the way and then I can always just turn the camera off for a second because I'm using Streamlabs. I've never used Streamlabs before. It, it gives you more options than YouTube and that might be something I do when I try to stream next time is try to stream from Streamlabs mobile and hopefully by doing that it will get rid of the audio issues. But I'll, I'll, I'll do some testing before. But yeah, other than that... Anything else before I peace out? I'll answer one more question. Or else I will just sign out. But yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, go to my YouTube page and check out the newest video. Like 50 volleyball players jumping. It's really cool. It's really cool to see volleyball players jumping. Because uh, generally, I feel like with high jump, uh, at least this type of jumping where you're using a vertical tester, you, you usually see football players, you usually see basketball players, but uh, it's cool to see volleyball players. And I've never actually seen a video like this on YouTube, so I thought th that's why I wanted to do it. I wanted to see how high everyone could fly, and I wanted to see it with specifically volleyball players. Um, thanks for the live stream. Enjoying the content from Vancouver. Hey, I sometimes come to Vancouver. <laughs> no, thanks for watching though. Thanks for uh, tuning in everybody and hopefully everything sounded good and there weren't any issues, but yeah, until next time. <laughs>